it starts in the small joints like the toes, the fingers, and the crystals will accumulate, meaning nanay muburot, nanay mubukol, it can also become deformed through time. And really severe cases of gout mag sugod na na o gawas ang crystal. So it's white, powdery, sometimes it's whitish, like toothpaste. That's what gout is. This does not happen with osteoarthritis. Again, in osteoarthritis, wear and tear ni siya. And maghinay-hinay ni kahitabo more of sa weight-bearing joints ka nang nag-tuhod uh, o sa atong mga groin ka nang ball and socket joints sa hips. It is also aggravated by obesity. So if you are obese, uh, overweight, please be careful because you may be at risk for osteoarthritis. And if you have family history of gout, it's very possible na uric acid is a problem. You may need to avoid certain foods. Now, there are also other inflammatory types of arthritis. Kanang dili gout, kanang dili osteoarthritis such as kind of rheumatoid arthritis can it again totally different than rheumatoid arthritis it is a problem that the joint is seen as foreign mura siya og bacteria abi sa atong lawas na bacteria na ang atong joints and then it will start attacking the joint slowly so maginahina ni hubag it's an immune system problem yeah and when you have this immune system problem maginahina og kaon ang uh, body sa atong joint. So it slowly destroys the knee joint, the hip joint. Rheumatoid arthritis is actually systemic. So the whole body is being attacked. That's why typically the, our friends, the rheumatologists, will handle these cases of acute gout and rheumatoid arthritis because they have medical problems in the lungs, uh, sometimes in the urine and in different parts of the body. So this is why we only treat, kami mga orthopedic doctors, we treat the really severe cases that have failed or do not respond na to the medicines that uh, friends natin, the internal medicine doctors are giving. So, uh, those are the other types of arthritis. We have discussed, number one, gouty arthritis na from uric acid ni siya na magpundo sa lawas because dilit lagi nato ma-metabolize or digest properly ang uh, certain foods. Now, what the other arthritis that is most common is actually osteoarthritis, okay? wear and tear money. Wear and tear meaning the more we use our joints, the slowly it will deteriorate. That's osteoarthritis. It is worsened by obesity. Sometimes trauma or injury can worsen this as well. Mainly in the weight-bearing joints, kanang knees and hips. Uh, also, we talked about rheumatoid arthritis already. That is a inflammation caused by a problem sa immune system attacking the joints and different parts of the body as well. We also have a infectious arthritis that comes from a bacteria or virus that can go inside the joint. We see this typically sa mga patients na naay tuberculosis that sometimes go into the joint and even kanang mga gipang hilot kanang ipang butangan og lana ang tuhod it can actually the bacteria can use that as a medium it goes inside the joint so magnana ang mga joints no so be careful if you are applying so many things in your joint because we are not sure if that is sterile or clean if your hands are clean if your knee is clean make sure it's not expired as well whatever you are applying and uh, these are some of the more common forms of arthritis. No? So we talked about osteoarthritis, which is wear and tear. Uh, gouty arthritis is very common sa family with previous history. Certain foods especially can aggravate this, even alcohol. And also we talked about rheumatoid arthritis. Of course, there are many types of inflammatory arthritis na attack atong immune system. We also talked about infectious arthritis and we have a question on arthritis from uh, doc what is um, AVN so the AVN type of arthritis is actually a type of bone and joint destruction AVN is a vascular necrosis of the joint it happens when the bone is dying probably because of some disease sometimes it's from overuse of steroids sometimes it's also caused by 
a metabolic problem or even sometimes blood problems and cancers can cause a vascular necrosis and it destroys the bone and destroys the joint. So it can happen in very young individuals. One of my last patients na luwi kay mga 20 years old pa lang, naguba na yung joint. So those are some of the many types of arthritis. Uh, there are questions here about thumb arthritis. Yes, you can have osteoarthritis, basal thumb arthritis. I usually typically refer these types of arthritis to my hand specialist colleagues here in the Cebu Orthopedic Institute. Daghan man ni og specialista. I specifically am the hip and knee specialist and of course we have other hand specialists and even foot specialists as well. Diri. So yeah, we do have certain arthritis like basal thumb arthritis common later in life. And uh, they're also asking about the side effects of these arthritis. We'll answer these questions later. So, daghanag mga nag comment, no? So, if you have questions, just comment below. We'll try to answer that in the question and answer portion. So, good morning, Ma'am Virginia uh, Marcadesh from Palo Leyte. Wow, good morning, Ma'am Lopez, Maria, Marta. Gandang umaga po. Marites Tanghi, huh? Tanghian. Good morning and blessed Sunday to you as well. So, everyone who is listening uh, type in the chat where you are from and try to type your questions if you have questions we will answer that at the end of the uh, live we're going to go into the next couple of uh, topics which is what is what are the symptoms of arthritis no again symptoms unsay mga symptoms aning arthritis it is generally pain sakit siya without any injury, meaning wala ni mo, wala trauma, wala ka na bunog, na igo, wala ni mo na twist ang joint or knee. Sometimes, man good, we have patients who think they have arthritis, but they actually had a minor trauma na misstep ang ilang pagtikang sa hagdan, or they twisted their knee during a zumba. And so, there are patients who have injuries, there are patients who have arthritis. And there's sometimes a combination, sometimes na injure sila, pero na asad sila pre existing arthritis. Dali ra na actually ma injure ang mga nai arthritis na daan. Kay their joints are very stiff, their muscles are stiff. So a small misstep and sometimes a small twist can cause an injury in their knee. So really good if you would see a joint specialist for this. Again, the joint specialist can be a rheumatologist rehab doctors, orthopedic doctors, and yes, yeah, so what are the symptoms of arthritis? Typically, muhubag, that's the swelling. Sometimes there's redness if severe na kayo. Mupula ang joint. So redness, swelling, pain, sakit ni siya typically kung muhubag o mupula. Magdunga ni sila. Pula ang joint, ubag ang joint, sakit ang joint, and in cases na na aning tulong, uban sa na na init ang feeling, so you have warmth or heat in the joint. When you feel this, I want you to use the back of the hand, no? Imo nang i feel sa kamot ni mo, sa likod sa kamot, the back of the hand, not this part. You will use this part to feel the joint and compare it always with the opposite side. Because in some patients, one side raman ang muhubag. I feel na ni mo kung hubag, I feel sa ni mo kung init. If feel sad na na mo, if pula siya, and kung tender ba pisli, pisli ton ginagmay, ay lang sa kusga kay sakit na na sila. So we have warmth, pain, swelling, redness, decrease in temperature. Those are the many symptoms of arthritis. It can also happen in injuries. Labi na kung grabi pagka-injure ang tuhod or joint. Or these can also be signs of inflammation in general. And these are things that if you have mga patients na na ay ani na symptoms, especially sa hips and knees, uh, you can definitely refer them here sa Cebu Orthopedic Institute. Next week, going to be very busy. I think the slots are only available Tuesday raman siguro, sa hapon, or Monday sa hapon. Uh, if you want to have a consultation with me for your hip or knee pain, uh, come see me Monday afternoon or Tuesday afternoon. Those are the slots available. And going next, what would I do kung ako na ako'y arthritis? 
And typically, ang kadaghanan sa mga arthritis warriors nato, no? They would first go to self-medicate, inom na silang tambal, pangutana sa ilang mga silingan, usahay marites gamay mo, kay nakadungog sila lagi na nagsakit ang tuhod sa ilang silingan, usahay ginom ni mo, and then kung naa sila ginom, sundun sa nila. Kung ipahilot, ana, mumanay kadaghanan sa mga Pilipino, naanad naman ng hilot, no? Dili, sad ganahan mo ato ang doktor because mahal ko no, malayo. So, unsay convenient mo, iduulon. Ito'y hilot, ato sa silingan, mga yung advice. And, of course, these are not really medical advice, but this is the usual things that Filipinos do. They self-medicate, they buy supplements online, and when you see supplements online, kita din ka na, naayos siya, palit din ta, anak. So, why research research? Why sure if these supplements or pain relievers actually work? If you see some testimonials online, especially if it's a very famous person, artista, maybe a picture of a certain doctor or person in authority, palit da yun. If naayo ko no ang silingan because they had the exact same pain, which is usually not the exact same pain, but mura-ura, but it's sort of the same, so they take the same thing. The problem is that sometimes the symptoms are the same, but the gouty arthritis medications are not the same as the rheumatoid arthritis or the osteoarthritis medications. So, it would be really helpful if you can self-medicate and if pugsun good mo sa inyong mga uh, kauban sa balay to go to a hilot, sure, you can, of course, try it. But personally, if you have a friend who is who knows a doctor, who knows a uh, specialist, labi na sa tuhod, I would ask or I would do that going to a knee specialist kay Sayon raman dire kay na magkuy mga kaila lagi, but that's what I would do personally. I would see a specialist, the joint, a doctor, a rheumatologist, a rehab doctor, an orthopedic surgeon, whoever is near, have them examine my knee because the best test is actually not a blood test, not an X-ray, but the best test for me is a physical examination. In my opinion, compared to the other test, a physical examination and a very good history. Kay mahibawan man na to from history na, uy, na day previous arthritis ang mama, ang papa, it's been happening before after eating certain foods, or the patient has had a previous trauma which will worsen his uh, obesity maybe, or maybe di na mulakaw kayo, kay naguba na ang joint. These are things that we can take up and will lead us to the correct diagnosis. Sometimes, even without a x-ray or MRI, with just examination, you can tell the type of arthritis based on history and PE. That's why some doctors delete na mo x-ray. But the next best test for me after a history and physical examination, kana examine yun gidang tuhod, hikapon yun, pick on, pick on yun kung kaya, atong i-check ang lain-lain na party sa tuhod, atong hikapikapon. And then, istoryahan na tong pasyente o... Dali, dali, dali on ba para makibaw ta what really type of arthritis even without x-rays, without MRIs, we can do this. So, this is a good physical examination and a history. After that, I would typically get an x-ray if naan ako yung idea na agin siya arthritis. The reason why I mukuha kong x-ray is number one, barato siya more than a MRI because the MRI is about pila ka thousand, no? But the x-ray, relatively cheap, paspas, and then makuha rada yun. And you also want to know, I want to know, unsa ka grabi ang arthritis sa pasyente. So that's the reason why I get the x-ray. The MRI is good kung na ay injury, na dili lang sa bukog, hasta sa mga unod, hasta sa mga ugat, sa mga menisco, sa cartilage. Diha na makitaan sa MRI. So the MRI is really a good test to check for the different different parts of the joint but if it's just the bone and the severity of the arthritis so especially if it's osteoarthritis i usually just get an x-ray of the knee an x-ray of the hip and then makakita na ko unsa kagrabi how severe is the arthritis so i hope that helps now 
those are what I would do and the doctors I would go to kung na ako'y arthritis. Uh, go to an internist, especially rheumatologist, rehab doctors, and our friendly orthopedic surgeons out there can also help you. Uh, if you have none of those specialists, definitely you can go to your friendly family med who can refer you, GP, but self-medicating, I would not really want to self-medicate. Labi na kay daghan kay mga patients na ko na mo end up with kidney failure, dialysis, and it's true na mabuslot sa dantian sa mga painkillers because they're very strong. So they get endoscopies and bleeding pag yun sa luwi kayo, ma-ICU na because di kan sa probinsya self-medicating with all these painkillers. Uh, so I don't want you to do that. So what can we do at home for arthritis? If it's really acute, bag pa lang, cold compress can work for the first three days. If it's chronic na, uh, we can do for the next three to six days, we can put warm compress. After that, it's really very little and relief sa cold or warm. That's why we need to know the cause of the arthritis to really deal with it properly. The other things you can do in your house to minimize the pain of arthritis, aside from taking supplements and pain relievers, is changing where you are walking into your room. If second floor, third floor, in yung kwarto, and had a patient, a third floor, and kwarto, and then sakit na kayo, and two wood. And then I advise, if you can stay in the first floor, especially if your arthritis is in flare, that would be much better. Putting ramps around the steps also helps. Kanang maglisod nagtikan, maglisod nagsakag hagdan. Putting a few ramps instead of stairs, uh, kanang mugbo lang ba? It's really something that does a lot. Next is putting railings na ay makuptan, especially if you have elderly patients na hadlok na matumba kay Simba ko lang no, ma-fracture sila. We want them to hold on to something. Not just putting a ramp, putting a railing would be also helpful for these patients with arthritis. And yeah, kanang mga places around the house that are nit-nit should be well lit. If you are living with other people, make sure na ang saug, the floor has no electric fans or toys that you can trip on because a lot of the patients with arthritis do not have very good balance. So limpio gud na ang saog. Hopefully dili kayo slippery, dili mas slide no. Kay kanang dangog lagi mas slide pwede lagi matumba kay poor ang balance. Putting railings especially in the CR or in places where there are ramps. Kanang makuptan gud ma, ma gunitan ba. That would be really good. So, uh, going further, that's the things that we can do at home for arthritis. Kung sa may mga conservative treatments for arthritis, what can we do short of any injections no, or surgeries? We can definitely self-medicate. But if you are going to self-medicate long-term, you need a doctor to make sure your medicines are not going to damage your kidney, damage your gut. So, typically... The safest would be around the level of paracetamol. Plain paracetamol, the thing that we use for fever is also good. And it's not very strong, I know, but it's one of the safest that we can give. We can apply mga haplas, ointments, liniments around the knee, but be careful that it's not expired, it is clean, your knee or your joint is clean, soap and water, your hands are clean also if you're applying it with your hands. Soap and water also. You don't want to have an infection. I've had patients like in a, because of an injury, naghapla sila, man nag infectious arthritis, kaying sud ang bacteria inside their knee, ang kagaw. You don't want that to happen to you. And uh, also, you have special braces for arthritis. So, daghan patients na na ay arthritis who benefit from certain braces, especially the braces are helpful when you have concomitant ligament injuries. So when I examine my patient, ako nang hikapikapo ng tuhod, I know where the ligaments are and when I palpate, when I feel na ko nasakit ang ligaments, you can check out the old video on the MCL. If the MCL ligament is injured plus the patient has arthritis, there are knee braces or even unloader braces that can be very helpful. So uh, ask your doctors, ask your friendly 
usapan na joint doctors if you have a ligament injury and that these braces can help you or not. But if you don't have any doctor near you, if nakasamo, you can definitely try on different braces. Sometimes the effect is minimal. Sometimes it's just placebo, meaning mura rag na ayo or mura ni improve pero wala. But there are a lot of patients who benefit with a hinge knee brace, kanang nai hinge and I put how sa kilid, that will stabilize your knee. Hope that can help. And what are the surgical management for arthritis? Of course. There are injections, especially kung hubag ka ayo. If there's a lot of fluid inside the knee, we remove the fluid. And just removing the fluid, takot na ng pain relief. We can also inject some medicine inside the knee. There are many types of injections out there. New injections like collagen and stem cell and PRP all being studied right now. So I'm not going to comment so much, but... The injections that we have here are the injections that are relatively well studied, na, like the steroids and the HA, hyaluronic acid. Uh, but there will be updates if we are going to use PRP, we're going to use stem cell in the future. Hopefully, maybe it's going to cure the arthritis. But right now, uh, be careful because there are a lot of scams out there. Daghan kayo mo pretend. And the marketing is very good. So, New research on arthritis is it going into stem cell, it's going into preventing, and it's also research on the food because a lot of the arthritis can be worsened, not caused, uh, really caused by the food, but worsened by the food that you eat. Even if you have osteo or rheumatoid, certain foods can be pro-inflammatory to the whole body, meaning it's not just the joints, but you will feel bad as well. That's why... A lot of the research is going into food, it's going into prebiotics and probiotics. Unsa man sila? Kanang mga good bacteria in our stomach can make our arthritis worse or better depending on the type of bacteria that you have, the food that you're eating, and the probiotics. Very, very booming right now because it's helpful to know na kanang immune system nato. The system that helps us fight diseases like COVID and bacteria, 70% DI sa atong immune system, na sa atong tiyan. So they're treating the gut, they're treating arthritis with probiotics. Certain bacteria can lower inflammation in your gut, in your body, and even give you more fluids in your joints. That's the research on arthritis. Uh, we're already at 26 minutes. I'm going to end soon, so I better answer mga questions. Kung namo mga pangutana right now, uh, please do ans uh, ask the questions. Let's check out on say mga questions nato here. So, we are answering a question from, what do you call this? Adminisvul Epay has the question of, Doc, what things can we do at home for arthritis? Well, aside from what I discussed with you, pwede kita mo create of awareness, no? On that patients with arthritis, we can tell our friends, our family, and relatives that we can improve our muscle because balance is a problem. We have now, every Monday, we'll talk about movement because we want our arthritis warriors to be stronger, to be doing exercise, to be balancing better. Because a lot of my arthritis warriors I see have poor balance and they might fall, my God. So a lot of the things that we can do at home is to prevent falls, improve their quality of life, improve or lessen their pain by ramps and instead of stairs, railings, putting well-lit areas, making sure the floor is not slippery. So I hope that answers some questions. And let's see. Any other questions? Doc, from Eden Balor. Hello, Doc Jof. Na ako'y pangutana. Kanang normal ra ba mukuto ang lawas nato? Well, actually, that's a very good question. In a lot of cases, it is normal for our body to click. But cracking should be, or clicking should be painless. It can be caused by a muscle imbalance. So if you can balance these muscles, the clicking and cracking and the pain will be gone slowly. If you are very, very stiff or very tight or the muscles are weak in certain areas, that can be abnormal. So there is clicking that is normal. There is also clicking that is not normal. That's caused by muscle imbalance. 
kulang ang muscle or weak ang muscle or very tight dili luag ba so kung batan on pata or young pata we don't hear these things because patients who are very young usually have flexible muscles or pliable ang tawag nila kanang luag ang lawas kay ba pero with age comes stiffness because we don't exercise and we lose flexibility wala na stretching and pliability so thanks for that question and then uh, doc this is from Aj, Ajish BD, Dr. Joff. Good day sa inyo. Kung na-dislocate ang akong bukog sa hip, mo opera ba mo, Doc? So, the answer is yes. Uh, hip dislocations, we do procedures for this, especially if it's a chronic dislocation, kanang pagkabata pa, manidako na ka with a dislocated hip. This is called dysplasia, kanang ang hip. Di good siya, swak sa joint. And it causes arthritis because the ball and the socket joint are not congruent as gawas gamay. That type of arthritis is secondary to dysplasia. So we do surgeries for that. Uh, interestingly, kanang mga surgery sa hip, we now do a minimally invasive hip replacement. It's called direct anterior approach. It means that no muscles are cut. Muna, daghan pasyente na makalakaw dayon after hip surgery. Uli dayon as early as day one. And in certain countries around the world, they're doing these hip cases as outpatient now, which is amazing. So thanks for that question on hip dislocation. Uh, this is another question from Ma'am Lynn Kalan. Doc, pwede manguta na gahubag akong tiil babaw sa lapalapa. Kunya, mm -hmm. banhod. So, if ang lapalapa, di manguna siya joint. So, this is not arthritis. So, the question is, arthritis ba ni Doc ang nanaghubag sa lapalapa? No, it's not arthritis. But a good thing to ask Ma'am Lynn is, kung sakit ang lapalapa, sakit ba inig matadayon sa buntag after magsigig lingkod or inig tindog ni mo? Is it painful? Because if it is painful, just upon waking up, it can be plantar fasciitis and not an arthritis of the joint. So thanks for that question. Uh, I think mauna na ang mga questions nato for today. If you have any questions in the audience, let me know. Basig mga tubag nato. If you have no more questions, we are going to end this. I'm inviting all of you to join the FB group. So in the FB group, this week we're going to talk about how we can be happier even if you have arthritis. Di ta magsalig kung nai arthritis or wala. Pwede ka malipayon, magmalipayon karong Pasko this Christmas. You can still be happy. And a lot of my patients na naay sakit na arthritis, they come with anxiety and depression. I'm hoping to help you dili lang sa physical but also sa atong kanang panghunahuna ba. Wanting hopefully that you can enjoy your Christmas and be more positive, be happier. So I will see you next time, Arthritis Warriors. This is Dr. Joff, and I hope you enjoyed that quick masterclass on living with arthritis. See you next time. Bye-bye.